Hi, today I'd like to talk about Japanesque silver made in America in the 1880s and concentrate on small pieces. Okay, so in the 1860s we were into things like medallion and Arctic exploration silver because of the purchase of Alaska. In the 1870s we were really enamored with things that were Egyptian revival, all the findings in Egypt, in the pyramids, things like that. And in the 1880s, with the opening of Japan, America became infatuated with things that were Chinese or Japanese. And the silver also reflected this interest. So I'd like to show you some of the interesting American silver of this period. Okay, so the first one is an ice cream server in the Gorham pattern Heezen. And it's got a catfish or carp swimming up the handle. And then it has a carp among the waves on the blade. Very Chinese influenced. Okay. The next piece is the pattern is called Japanese by Tiffany. And it's actually Chinese birds pictured among the foliage on the handle. And then on this one, there are bamboo branches with a butterfly. Very Japanesque. Okay. Dolphins are also very Japanesque. And so Tiffany created this pattern called Dolphin. It has dolphins and cattails on this ice cream server. Crabs and lobsters, very Japanesque motif. This piece uh, by Gorham has a big lobster on the bottom, on the top, and on the bottom it has cattails. Dominic and Hoff was not to be outdone. They had this pattern called Renaissance. So it has a Renaissance man up at the top, but the bottom has this carp uh, among cattails and lily pads. That's a really great looking fish. Sometimes they made pieces where the use was in keeping with the piece. So this teaspoon has peas in the bowl and oriental flowers on top. So that's the flatware I wanted to show you. Now a little bit of hollowware. Here is a Gorham vase. Enameling was quite an oriental thing. And here are enameled cherries, an enameled body, and then silver leaves applied. Very Japanesque. Here's a Tiffany tea caddy that's all hammered in the Japanesque taste at, with gold butterflies. Beautiful piece from the 1880s. These salt and peppers are very Japanesque and kind of neat that they're dated. Uh, one says 1859 and one says 1884. So it was a 25th wedding anniversary gift given in the year 1884. They're very heavily hammered. They have Japanesque foliage. They have these wonderful fox cracks on the side. A very neat Japanesque look. Okay, Gorham did these wonderful copper trays. This one has Chinese men in a boat, copper fish, and then a silver bird up above. They did a lot of these trays, and each one is a work of art. Here you have, again, a snail in the dirt or sand. You have a stork, and then you have birds flying up above, and you have mountains in the back. Could be Mount Fuji in the back. Okay, this big one has silver lilies and then sand and some oriental birds and then butterflies up above. You know, beautiful trays, very much copied from the oriental books that they looked at. But the interesting thing was, toward the end of the 1880s, the work became Americanized. It, it really was, went beyond the Japanese and Chinese that they were copying. So they were not no longer mere copies. They had their own flavor to them. Here's our final piece. It's a small vase. And again, beautiful silver flowers with copper centers, and then a traditional oriental 
motif of a dragonfly. Nicely coppered bowl, um, hammered, well hammered, and any one of these of these pieces would make a nice Christmas gift. Thank you.